Hello, I'm Mark Bowden and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. I'm going to talk to you today about melatonin and what we know about melatonin can help us to get a really good night's sleep. But I'm going to come on to that in a moment. First of all, I want to draw your attention to the link below this video in the description box. It's a link to my hypnosis download for overcoming insomnia and getting a better night's sleep. So go and feel free to go and check that out. Now, melatonin. It's, a, it's referred to as the sleep hormone, and it's released by the pineal gland, which is at the base of the human brain. Now, it's released when it's time to go to bed. It makes us feel drowsy, and it prepares our body and our minds for a deep, peaceful, and restful night's sleep. Now, the way it does this, or the way it no the pineal gland knows that it's time to start releasing melatonin is day and night. Once it starts to get dark, our eyes tell our pineal gland that it's time to start releasing melatonin. So throughout history, throughout the history of mankind, we have known that nighttime means sleep because we simply feel drowsy and that's the melatonin being produced. The problem that we have in this day and age with the introduction of mobile devices is before bed, what are you tending to do? You might be on your mobile phone answering messages on the laptop on, on, in bed. You might even be watching television. All of these things are bad for the production of melatonin. And the reason being is your eyes are seeing light. They're telling your pineal gland that actually it's not quite bedtime just yet. So it isn't time to produce the melatonin just now. So the tip is Get rid of those mobile devices. Turn off the television at least one hour before bedtime. And the other thing is do not be tempted to check your messages or your emails during the night because the same thing will happen. You'll get up or you'll wake up, you'll look at your mobile device and that light then gets emitted into your eyes, into the pineal gland and it says, it's daytime. It's time to stop the production of melatonin. And then what that does is it gradually starts waking you up. And that's not very good if it's three or four in the morning when you still need to be getting that really good night's sleep. So put your mobile devices down an hour before bedtime and don't pick them up until you're ready to actually embrace the day once again. Thank you.